I'm Tony Zabo and I work for uh, AdLib Audio and I am the uh, head touring systems engineer. I started using it, I think it was as early as 2000 when it was actually a Claire I.O. and uh, I had a rack of about nine of these things on a, a theatre tour um, with Claire Brothers. Yeah, it was a bit of a shock when uh, Dolby said they're going to stop making them uh, because the DLP was a big step forward um, because the extra amount of ins and outs and the modularity of it. And it was a great unit. We had um, well the first ones off the production line and I toured the world with, with two of them straight off the production line. They were brilliant. So it was disappointing when we heard that. And then we heard Lab Rufin had the Lake brand for live use and uh, that was a breath of fresh air. So it was uh, basically um, a good quality amplifier manufacturer now looking after the, the best DSP on the market. So it's a win-win. We had a good listening test. When I talked ad lib into using Lake, um, I had to prove to them that it was better than what they were using and the others on the market. And uh, it was a close run with, with another competitor, but with what they were using, it was a lot better. So that from the beginning, it was a, it was a huge increase in, in sound quality. Uh, since then, um, it's just been getting better. You know, it's, with technology getting better, Lake have kept ahead and um, so it's getting better and better and now I mean we've been using AES for a long time and now we're starting to use Dante and our signal flow is being maintained as uh, digital for as long as possible uh, and it's getting better all the time yeah yeah well we're only just getting into Dante now uh, we've been experimenting for a while and we, we think it's the future for sure so um, We've got a few tours out now that are playing with it and, and trying it out and uh, I'd say by the end of the year we're going to have it as a, our main return system on Dante and very happy with it. Uh, it's very easy to use, we don't have to run so much copper. We used to run three 12 pairs and now we're running one 12 pair um, yeah, and that's just for all the bits and pieces that you still have to have. So uh, yeah, good. Well, we've been using the dual redundancy for a long time, from the DLP even back to the, the Contour and the Claire I.O. And the, the DLP, our standard setup was 4 in, 12 out, and we always ran analog and AES. It was just a, a default, it was just the way we've, we've been doing it for so long. I don't remember it ever falling over to analog. We still do it. Um, so it's great having it there as a just-in-case. Uh, but it's pretty reliable these days, so I'm not that worried about it. Well, basically it's uh, an update to the DLP in my mind. Uh, two of them will make an 18.8 out uh, DLP, except this time we now we have proper implementation of Dante in, uh, in the 44 with redundant networking, which wasn't on the DLP because um, the DLP started using the Dante way back in the beginning of the Dante where they still were trying to find their feet. So now we have gigabit networking, we have redundant networking, so basically if you're going to use Dante you want a 44 or, or a 26 and, and the 44 is going to be, you know, I think a big item in our inventory. Easy to use, best on the market, um, it makes work a lot easier. It's just simple, straight ahead. Uh, you shouldn't have a problem. 